Hello! In today's class, we are going to talk about the different kinds of questions in English. So, we have set three different objectives for this lesson. First, to make students familiar with the form and the function of the different question types in English. Second, to make students aware of the appropriateness of each question type in English, in each specific situation. And third, to have some practice on the use of each question type. I'm going to ask you, by using your previous knowledge, to decide which kind of question we are referring to in the following examples. Number one, where do you live? Number two, it's late, isn't it? Number three, do you like pizza? Number four, do you know where she lives? Number five, who opened the door? Number six, what did you eat for lunch? Number seven, Tom Cruise is a wonderful actor, is he? Here are the answers. Number one is a WH question. Number two is a question tag. Number three is a yes, no question. Number four is an indirect question. Number five is a subject question. Number six is an object question. Number seven is an echo question. Now we are going to analyze in detail each of these seven different types of questions. The first one is WH questions. The structure is composed of WH verb plus auxiliary or modal verb plus subject plus main verb. Please pay attention to the colors. What sign did you get up? How did he know the answer? When may I see you? Let's now remember what WH words are. WH words are particles which are frequently used to make questions. Some of them are what, where, why, when, who, whose, how, how much, how many, how often. Let's see the function of this type of questions. This is probably the most common kind of questions. They are direct and they are used in any context, either formal or informal. Let's see the case of those WH questions that contain a preposition. If the question includes a preposition, it should come at the end of the question. Examples. What is the film about? Who are you waiting for? What are you interested in? Who did Paul go to the party with? Who did she borrow that money from? The second kind of questions that we will study today is yes-no questions. The form or structure of this type includes an auxiliary or modal verb plus subject plus main verb. Please look at the colors again. Examples. Can his mother paint well? Is Stephen studying medicine? Did Peter find his cat? Do you like pizza? Let's look at the function of the yes-no questions. This kind of question is quite direct. The expected answer for this sort of question is yes or no. That's the reason why they are called yes-no questions. The third kind of questions is object questions. If we look at the form, we'll see that the question word is the object. When the question word is the object, we need an auxiliary after it. Examples. Which pair of shoes do you want to buy? Which functions as the object of the sentence and it also has the auxiliary do? 
What did Shakespeare write? What is the object in this sentence? And did is the auxiliary. Let's have a look at the function. The question word functions as the object of the sentence. For example, what do you have for breakfast? You eat something for breakfast. So what is the object of this question and do is the auxiliary? Who are you talking to? You are talking to somebody. Who is the object of this question and are is the auxiliary? Where did Tom go to school? Tom went to school somewhere. Where is the object of this question and did is the auxiliary. The next kind of question is subject questions. If we examine the form, we'll see that a question word is the subject of the sentence and differently from object questions, no auxiliaries are used in this kind of questions. We don't add the auxiliaries do, does or did for the present and past simples. Examples. Who wants an orange instead of who does want an orange, which is incorrect? Whose car is parked outside? What made you so angry? You can see that no auxiliaries are used in these sentences. Let's analyze the function of the subject questions. The question word who, whose, what or which functions as the subject of the sentence. Who likes apple pie? Someone likes apple pie. Who functions as the subject of this question and it may be replaced by any proper name, for example, Jennifer. Jennifer likes apple pie. Whose essay is the best? Someone's essay is the best. So whose may be replaced by Peter's, John's. What was making all that noise? Something was making a noise. What may be substituted by a noun or phrase, for example, the washing machine or TV. The next sort of question is the indirect questions. When we look at the form, we'll see that the main verb usually comes after the subject and the auxiliaries do, does, did are not used in the second part of the question. Different structures may be used to start the question. Do you know? Could you tell me? Plus subject plus verb. Look at the colors of these examples. Do you know where she lives? Instead of do you know where does she live, which is incorrect. Do you know or could you tell me where it is? Instead of do you know where is it, which is incorrect. No auxiliaries are used here. And keep in mind that this kind of questions uses a positive word order. Let's look at the function now. They are used when you want to ask a question in a more polite way. Some expressions which are frequently used to start the question are Could you tell me? Have you any idea? Do you know? I'd like to know. I was wondering or I wonder. I'd be interested to know. Some more examples of this kind of questions are Can you tell me what time it is? Do you know where the post office is? Could you tell me what time the train leaves? Could I ask you how you feel about it? I'd like to know when the flight departs. As you can see, there is no auxiliary and the word order is positive.
The next kind of question is question tags. Let's first look at the form. They usually go at the end of the sentence. They use the same auxiliary model or verb as the statement. Examples. Do you or doesn't he for the present simple? Did he for the past simple? So, the structure of the question tax is auxiliary verb plus subject. If the sentence is positive, the question tag is negative. And the other way around, if the sentence is negative, the question tag is positive. There is one exception that we should mention. When the subject is the first person singular, I, the question tag will be aren't I. Examples. I'm right, aren't I? Instead of I'm right, I'm not I, which is incorrect. And which would be the form that we could expect if we follow the regular rules. But I insist this is an exception. Now let's see the function. The yeah, used to check if information is correct. More examples. Mary sings very well, doesn't she? Jessica is not here at the moment, is she? The boss hasn't been at work for a while, has he? Let's see now the last kind of question that we'll study today, echo questions. If we analyze the form, we'll see that they use the same verbal tense of the statement. So, if the statement is positive, the echo question is positive. If we examine the function, the uh, used by speakers to make sure that they have understood what has been said in a conversation. Examples. Speaker A says, I like the film very much. And speaker B replies, did you? Another example. She has been studying the whole day for an exam. And speaker B replies, has she? Some more examples. They are working very hard at the moment. Are they? I've never been to Greece, haven't you? So, in these sort of questions, the second speaker uses the echo questions to check that he or she has properly understood what has been said and to show surprise. After this presentation, you should know the different types of questions in English and the context in which each question type is used. And remember to do the activities posted on Prometeo to enhance your learning skills. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day. Universidad de las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.